I'm so tired and uh, I think I am thirsty too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. ah, now go for more. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So this time we decided to flew to Ottawa as we want to experience Canada Day at the city capital of Canada and at the same time visit our aunt and family. As you know guys, this is the year when we became Canadian citizens. And so this is just part of our visit and please join us as we experience an Ottawa river cruise. Some people from Ottawa, they, oh, yeah. they, they, they're from here and then they just go to, mm -hmm. to Montreal, to Toronto, okay. or even, or even, in, or even in, yeah, New York. New York? So this is the real couple? Yeah, they're opening it for them to go out. Oh, okay. How was the boat? <laughs> no, that's the aqua taxi. I think that's the one. Yeah. I think that's the one. No, that's the one. That's the one. And so guys, we were just so excited about the boat tour and we thought that the aqua taxi is the one. But uh, oops, it's not the one. Um uh, what did you say? We're just so excited. <laughs> did I see Bo? Why right, mommy? Did I see Paul? We're so excited. We're going to have a boat tour again. It's a river cruise. So um, they said that we're supposed to be here 25 minutes, 20 before, minutes before. 20 minutes before the cruise and we are here. So early. One hour. <laughs> almost an hour before the cruise. <laughs> oh, it pays to be early, you can still rest. We don't and, um by the way, I own a lot of um yachts. So but I want to do the river cruise. Well, what did you say? I own a lot of yachts. Can you show them my yachts? <laughs> Alright, yeah, okay. That one is yours too? Yeah, they rented it from me. Oh! <laughs> in, your, in your dreams, right? But who knows, right? I'm claiming this now that someday I'm gonna have a yacht. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> so that and then um so that I'll go here at the Redu Canal, pay for for the opening of the canal and then I'll go yachting. We will go yachting to Montreal, we will go yachting to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> At long last, guys, our boat has arrived. Um, actually, guys, 
we just searched online about the Ottawa River Cruise and we found this Paul's boat line and uh, the rates for that is uh, the individual rates for an adult it's $35 plus tax uh, for children to, to 11 years old is $19.50 plus tax and for infants it's um, free for 0 to 2 years old there are also group rates for 15 uh, or more the adults is 26.95 plus tax and for children it's 16.31 dollars plus tax and infants 0 to 2 years old is free as a little trivia paul duhamel the founder of post boat lines limited started renting out canoes and rowboats of at Hags back in 1932. He founded this boat line in 1936 and began with guided tours on the Rideau River. The Rideau Canal tours started in 1949 and the Ottawa River tours started in 1952. At the back of the boat we have two life rafts as well as one at the front. Our life jackets are located on both ceilings of each deck and children's life jackets are downstairs. Hi guys, so the cruise on the Ottawa River departs came from two locations on the Gatineau, Quebec side of the Ottawa River located in Jacques Cartier Park adjacent to the Canadian Museum of History and the Alexandra Bridge the other location is the Ottawa Dock, First Canal Lane, Ottawa, Ontario, located at the foot of the Ottawa Locks between Parliament Hill and the Chateau Laurier Hotel. We can see around the ground building. This is the Parliament's library. I have all the books that offer water, water, and water home to see the seat that we can take to come up. The library holds over half a million books. I don't know if you've been a tech consultant In the early 1900s, the Parliament suffered a huge fire. However, the library is the only part that did not burn. This is because an employee closed the big iron doors in time, saving all the books. In the center block, once more, we can see a clock tower. Over walk in Tota Lodge. This is Big Ben. This is Big Ben. No, 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 I'm just kidding. We're still in Ontario. We're not in London. This is the Peace Tower. The Peace Tower symbolizes all the Canadian soldiers that we lost during World War One. On top of the tower, we can see a waving Canadian flag. This flag is changed each and every day, and once upon a time, you could put your name on a list to receive one of these flags. Her, the list got so popular, it became over 100 years long, so like, they canceled it. Eight locks in a series of 47 that go all the way to Kingston in Ontario. On 
on your left, we can see two these buildings. This is the Canadian Museum of History. In its architecture, you might notice it's very rounded. This is done on purpose because its architect was a Macy descent and there's an indigenous belief that spirits hide in corners. So in his architecture, there aren't very many corners. On your left, we can see a lovely marina. This is the O Marina, where our boat sleeps at night. Behind it, we can see Jacques Capsi Park, where we host our winter themes in February. So on your right, you can see two buildings that are red, blue, and white. This is the Ottawa Rowing Club. The National Research Council are world leaders in technological and scientific research and are responsible for several inventions such as submarine equipment and the zipper. I have another question for you guys. Any question for you? Has anyone ever been to the Buckingham Palace or knows what it looks like? Yes, yes. Does this look like the Buckingham Palace? Yes, no, maybe so, maybe a little bit, we know, thanks. Well, it's supposed to. Um, the architect inspired himself from the Buckingham Palace to design her lovely council, even though it's just like a quarter of its size. Welcome to Niagara Falls. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. We don't go that far, don't worry. These are the Reno Falls. This is Elysian Rideau. The Reno Falls are 13 meters high and are 100% natural except for the reinforcements to harvest hydroelectricity. And I'll make sure we don't have ties, but we don't have to be able to do this. So for the reinforcement hydroelectric. A fun story about these falls and how they got their name. When Samuel de Champagne was first traveling here and he saw these beautiful falls, he gave one good luck and he goes, you know what those look like? Those look like curtains. And curtains in French is rideau. So I present you the rideau falls. Symbolic for him. Alors, ceci, c'est le Rock the Boat House Marina. Au fond, c'est juste 
Jason Marino, on stationne le bateau, on avait lancé aussi un restaurant. C'est pas le chien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indonesia, His Excellency Adon Kajal Julia. I was a senior colleague for one minute of learning about our example black and rouge. So this is the residence official of the ambassador of Indonesia, His Excellency Adon Kajal Julia. So we are back on the Ottawa River. It used to be known as Kitchisiki, which means Great River, according to the Algonquin tribes. On est de retour sur la rivière des Outaouais, qui était auparavant appelée Kitchisiki, qui veut dire rivière. So guys, the Paula D uh, boat that we're taking is ideal for excursion, and you have the opportunity to see the beautiful landscape of Ottawa. The cruise offers a spectacular view of the city and allows you to see the river as it was used long ago as a highway to transport resources. You will see the natural beauty of the region that captured the imagination of the first European explorer Samuel de Champlain. I would say that the view from the river was uh, terrific combining Parliament Hill, the Rideau Falls, and the lovely vistas along the Ottawa River. The pace was leisurely and the tree felt very safe and uh, secure. And uh, that's it guys. I think we are now back to where we started. Hope um, you enjoyed watching. And uh, we really, uh, and we really wanted to uh, go back here uh, in the future. Bye.